Well, thank you so much for your company this morning. It has been described as theatre magic from a first-time playwright. Paper Planes explores the very important topics of mental illness and anxiety. We are joined now by award-winning director-turned-playwright Aaron Richardson, director Cole Jenkins and actor Katie Longbottom. Welcome all to the show. Thank you very much. Very nice to have you here, Aaron. Let's start with you because you are an award-winning director, but this is the first time that you've written a play and you're not directing it, so what's that like? Uh, it's great, to be honest, to be able to step back from the whole thing and just let someone else take care of the baby for once. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's been, a, it's been a great experience, actually. I've really enjoyed it. Cole, what is it like directing a director's play? And There must be some pressure that comes with that. Uh, I guess a little bit, but I mean, Aaron has been really good at just handing the reins over and trusting me, so it's, it's, it's been a, a pretty good transition in, into that, and he's always open to give me advice, and I'm open to... To take it as well. Really? Because I've always wondered about that because you obviously when you are directing something you must work in very specific ways to yourself mm. and, and if you've got somebody else there who's also got their sort of way mm. of doing it I wondered if there's any clashes. I mean there hasn't been so far. No. Yeah. No. No. Yeah, exactly. no. Maybe when we get into the theatre for like yeah, production week. We'll we'll strangling each other. Now why did you decide to write the play around four female characters? Um, to be honest, yeah, I mean, at the time my girlfriend was going through some stuff, so I think it sort of, it was based partly on her experience and partly on my experience, so that I guess the idea of them all being female just kind of stuck in my mind. Um, it was also a suggestion of Cole's that um, because the play, like the central character is a female, it might be great to have some, uh, the whole cast be a female, and I was completely on board, yeah. And you went, yep, that's a great idea. Now, yeah. Katie, tell us a little bit about the character you play. Oh, she's pretty crazy. Um, I describe her as myself, but to the power of myself. So, like, <laughs> I'm quite, you know, out there and outgoing and I love talking to people and kind of shocking people. And she's like that times a thousand. She's just really crazy and bright and bubbly and fun. So is that like Katie squared? To yeah. You, you to the yeah, power of exactly. yourself? Yeah, exactly. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so uh, I get this is an open question to any of you. What is it actually about? Let's start with the writer. Yeah, yeah. You wrote it. Yeah. You wrote it. Um, so it's basically set in a girl's bedroom um, and it's, it takes place over the course of an evening um, and she's visited by a stranger who basically breaks into her room, uh, which is Katie. Um, and then uh, from there things start to get uh, surreal and strange and um, yeah, they go to Antarctica, um, <laughs> there, there's a red carpet, uh, it's, all, it's all go. Uh, <laughs> surreal and strange, definitely sounds like that um, but you've got some serious topics in the play too that you managed to, to address and how do you manage to address them? Yeah um, well I guess the, the, the yeah the play sort of discusses in a sort of I guess, abstract way the idea of depression and um, the, the factors that contribute to that in um, females in New Zealand um, yeah and I think we kind of balance that with humour to hopefully um, not make it uh, the play depressing but uh, to explore depression I think is the thing. Mm. Yeah. yeah. What's the role of puppetry in this? There's some mention of puppets or puppetry. <laughs> yeah, well, um, Aaron had written some several puppets into the show, and because of my experience with puppetry, I've done a bunch of shows over the last few years um, involving different forms of puppetry. That's why he got me on board. Um, we've got a, a dog puppet who is um, the lead character's friend's best friend. Um, we've also got a, a Belarusian landlady who is a puppet. <laughs> We have, uh, we use shadow puppets to tell stories as well. Um, and basically anything in the room can come to life if we, if we need it to be alive for any particular moment. So yeah, just making a real sort of um, alive living space. Sounds intriguing. Yeah. Now Katie, tell me about the rest of the cast. Oh, <laughs> the goss. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and also what they're doing. Yeah, yeah um, no, it's really great, um, I think. It's really nice getting to know other females in the industry because um, there's a lot of male roles out there and a lot of female actors, um, which has been a bit contentious lately. Um, so it's really nice working with females and sort of seeing how different we are in the work, in our working space. <laughs> who is this for? You know, who would benefit or who do you think would take the most away from seeing this? Um, well, I think it's definitely a, a, a youth show, mm. um, and I guess because of the, the characters in it, they're all young females, I guess it is um, a, a woman's story, but it really is, it's really for anyone who maybe has 
experienced a mental health or depression or anxiety throughout their lives, no matter uh, what their gender or anything mm. or the age. Um, we just want to kind of help the audience kind of see and feel what it might be like for someone who is in that kind of space of mind and kind of help them see that it's it's okay to feel that way and mm. and it, it happens to a lot of people and there are ways out and you can get help and that sort of mm. thing. Yeah. And you've partnered with the Utterfire Festival as well. Mm. Tell us about that. Yeah, absolutely. So it's a festival that's been running for three years now, basically, and it's about um, sharing and destigmatizing the ideas around depression. Um, so they have a whole lot of stuff going on. It sort of started out west, I guess, and mm. there's like uh, we're a part of it, and it runs for about a month and a half, I yeah, believe. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, excellent stuff. Well, it sounds exciting mm. what you're doing, mm. um, and the puppetry in there. Never hurts to have a good puppet in no. the no. I say. No. It's really Check. good. <laughs> Paper Planes plays from next Tuesday to Saturday at Auckland's Basement Theatre and you can check out the Basement website for ticket details. Thanks guys. Thank you very Thank you. much. Yeah.